Hi, my name is Mark Christopher Covino, and I am the director of The Crest. This was a true labor of love that took about five years to make. It all began back in 2012 at the Vermont premiere of my film before this, A Band Called Death, which was a rock and roll documentary that was doing its rounds at film festivals at the time. At the end of that screening, an old friend of mine named John Kane came up to me and introduced me to his cousin, Andrew Jacob. And he started telling me this story about how Andrew was doing this research on his ancestors and discovered this fiddle story in Ireland that was written on a blog. And through that blog, he found out that there was another cousin of his named DK, who was also a surfer who was living out in California. And John thought that I would be interested in maybe doing a documentary on these two meeting for the first time. And I was, I was very intrigued. Uh, I wanted to find my next project to make. And this one dealt with family, which is a theme that you'll notice in all of my films uh, is very strong. From that moment on, uh, we started pre-production on the film, uh, doing research. Uh, John, uh, who became our producer on the project, was instrumental in helping uh, introduce me to the world of the Blaskets. He already had all of the books, and, and that was the best place to start um, with the source. Uh, because many who had lived on the Blaskets are not with us anymore. Mike Carney being one of the last who's actually in our film. And so, you know, we read the books 20 years of growing, The Island Men, uh, A Dark Day on the Blaskets, and, and those were essential to uh, getting us into the heart and soul of the islands. The more I started digging into the story, the more I realized that I was drawn to it because of the parallels between the past and the present. Just the simple fact that the stuff uh, is in our DNA, uh, you know, that you can have somebody hundreds of years ago living off the water, um, working off the water, and then fast forward hundreds of years later, there you are doing the same exact thing. I instantly fell in love with the town of Dingle, uh, which was the location of where we stayed. The people there were so kind, and uh, there was just a really uh, warm, welcoming vibe around that town while our film crew was running around with film cameras filming everybody. At the end of the day, not too many films have been filmed around there, um, though the most recent one was the last Star Wars movie, so that's pretty neat. Actually, while we were filming on the Great Plasket Island, we could see in the distance uh, the film crews setting up uh, a protective metal road on top of the grass on the mainland so that the uh, the road crews that brought all the film gear in wouldn't ruin the, uh, the land. But before that, really, uh, not many films had been filmed there other than a few documentaries, Ryan's Daughter, and the film West of Kerry, uh, which you see in our film. My favorite memory um, uh, isn't even of filming the movie necessarily, uh, but it was, uh, we did a screening in Ireland at the Dingle International Film Festival uh, the screening was at their local theater in town and I remember uh, sitting at the front of that theater and and the entire town was in there I mean the whole town <laughs> so uh, there was a lot of weight on my shoulders you know being an outsider not being Irish not being from that part of Ireland and feeling uh, like I could have screwed up telling this story and they're all gonna hate me and they're gonna kick me out of town and right as the credits started to go up I tried to sneak out to not do the Q&A because I was so scared and as I got up to turn around, um, a random uh, person in town hugged me. And then another person hugged me. And as I started to turn around, I realized the entire audience was surrounding me and, and hugging me and thanking me and people were in tears. And to me, that is just the greatest moment of making this film. Um, that I made this film for that moment. The people of the Blaskets were able to maintain their bonds and preserve their heritage through stories literature, and music. Now, through the medium of film, I hope we are able to do the same with the Crest. Uh, I'd like to send a special shout out to NYU DC and Salas Nua. I'd like to thank all of our Kickstarter backers, and I'd like to thank you, our audience, for watching our film. Sláinte.